Hey everyone, Rachel here from Get Feedback. Welcome to another episode of Simplifying CX. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Our videos are here to provide you with straightforward answers to the biggest CX challenges. If that sounds relevant to you, don't forget to subscribe. Today, I'm gonna go over the basic user experience metrics, also known as UX metrics, which are essential to measuring and improving the user experience. We'll cover customer satisfaction, emotional rating, usability, and net promoter score. First, I'll introduce UX metrics and what they're used for. Next, I'll cover each of the four UX metrics you should know. UX metrics are used to measure, compare, and track the quality of the user experience over time. They are also used to measure the effectiveness, outcomes, and success of your attempts to improve the user experience. So let's dive into our first UX metric, the customer satisfaction score. The customer satisfaction score is a customer loyalty metric, also known as CSAT. It measures how satisfied a user is with your brand at a particular touch point, like specific features, products, or functionality. CSAT is based on a five-point scale from one, being very unsatisfied, to five, being very satisfied. To calculate the percentage of satisfied customers, divide the total number of customers who selected very satisfied, five, or satisfied, four, by the total number of responses, and then multiply that by 100. For more on CSAT, check out our Simplifying CX episode titled, How to Use the Customer Satisfaction Metric. Let's move on to UX metric number two, emotional rating. Emotional rating, also known as star ratings, have become synonymous with online reviews and digital feedback. Emotional and star rating is so popular because it allows brands to capture the customer's general mood. Plus, digital natives use emojis daily to share how they feel about content across platforms like Facebook, Instagram, review sites, and the likes. To measure the emotional or star rating, simply ask your customers, how would you rate your experience today on our website or app? Users then select from one to five stars or from a series of smiley faces. Now let's move on to UX metric number three, customer effort score. Customer Effort Score, also known as CES, is a touchpoint metric used to measure usability. How easy was it for your users to accomplish their goal or task on your digital channels? The idea behind CES is that companies create loyal customers when their users can easily find what they're looking for or can solve issues quickly. According to the Harvard Business Review, 94% of customers who report a low level of effort would repurchase products from the business, while 88% would spend more. CES is often related to a certain task or action. For example, how easy was it for you to complete your donation today? Or how easy was it for you to check out? For how to measure CES, check out our Simplifying CX episode on Customer Effort Score available in our playlist. Our last UX metric is the Net Promoter Score, also known as NPS. NPS is a relationship metric, which means it's used to measure long-term customer satisfaction and loyalty. There is much debate over the degree of importance and flexibility MPS has on evolving UX measurement standards. As a relationship metric, MPS offers an overall assessment of how users perceive their experience across your digital channels. MPS is not a touchpoint metric like CES or CSAT, but small nuances can be made to make the question more specific. For example, you can rephrase it as, how likely are you to recommend company or service X based on your visit today? or based on your purchase, based on the app experience, based on your trip. Users rate their experience on a scale from zero to 10, from highly unlikely to recommend to extremely likely to recommend. Users who report an MPS score of zero to six are detractors. Those who report a score of seven to eight are passive. And if a user gives a score of nine or 10, they become promoter. To calculate your company's MPS, take the percentage of customers who are promoters and subtract the percentage who are detractors. In summary, customer satisfaction, emotional rating, customer effort score, and net promoter score are four UX metrics you should know, measure, and track to improve the customer experience. For a complete guide on UX metrics, click on the description section below. Also, if there's a topic you'd like us to cover, feel free to add it to the comment section. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe now to see more videos that simplify CX. Until next time.